Roblox Rust has become a very popular genre of game on Roblox, where there is over 10,000 people playing various remakes of the popular game Rust at any given time. Naturally, there has been some very successful Roblox Rust games in the past and, of course, currently. But I'm not here to talk about the games from the past, I'm here to talk about the top 5 best Roblox Rust games that are still playable. At number 5 we have an interesting one and it's called Roams. Now this game is at number 5 because it does show some of Rust's features such as the AKs, the armors, you know some of the places on the map have similarities to things that are in Rust but it's not really Rust. This game was strictly made for PvP and it's kind of like a stray. It just doesn't allow base building so it's not really Rust but clearly they have copied Rust's textures and their items and the mechanics are actually pretty similar and it's pretty fun if you want to play it. For number 4 we have a really underrated game and it's called Catastrophe Survive and it's probably the best Roblox Rust remake that no one talks about. It's at number 4 because it rarely averages over 100 players because of how unknown this game is. But the gameplay is actually really fun and it's quite a bit like Rust. The map is small however so you end up with some good PvP. The game is however still in early development because I don't think they have very many devs. And a few months ago was the first time that the building feature was even unlocked in the game and the uh, introduction of raiding. But because of its lower population, but still widely fun cartoony and simplistic vibe, it's always a great time for me and my friends to get on and play and mess around when we've got time to spare. And for the last three, we get the full blown Roblox Rust remakes. And at number three, we have the newer but still very fun Lone Survival. Lone Survival, very close replica of the popular game Rust with multiple features that the other games on this list don't have to offer, such as their unique key system to unlock secret rooms around the map. Lost also has a very easy to understand crafting menu that doesn't require too much grinding to get loot, besides raiding, that's actually incredibly painful to get uh, items to raid but it's still a pretty good time. I used to play uh, Lost a lot back when it first came out because Lost has, in my opinion, one of the better PvP systems. They also were one of the first Roblox games to add AI at the monuments, so you had to take on a challenge if you wanted the good loot rather than having it handed to you for free. But it's definitely not the best Roblox Rust game because of a few reasons. The biggest is the player count. The game, while I think is amazingly fun and it's a good way to pass time, is not played very often and it usually hangs around 500 players at any given time. Along with this, as I said, the raiding is very difficult because you can make a very big base in no time but it takes forever to farm up and get the resources you need in order to raid a base and that's kind of my thing so I wasn't really a fan of that. The low player count, however, is likely due to the fact that there are other similar games um, that have some better features, but if you are looking for a fun new experience and ready to add a little challenge into your Roblox Rust experience, then this game is 100% for you. At number 2, we have the powerhouse that is Trident Survival. Now, if you've ever played Roblox Rust, then you've heard of Trident Survival. Trident Survival was one of the most popular Roblox Rust games from around 2021 to 2023. This game has become widely enjoyed for a wide range of reasons. Trident Survival has one, if not the best rating systems to ever exist in Roblox Rust. Paired with the fact that they add new updates and content pretty often, is uh, it makes it a great experience. Trident takes a lot of inspiration from Rust, but as they add more updates, they kind of stray farther from Rust and are making it into their own game. But clearly, they obviously still have the same aspects of Rust, such as their building and rating mechanics. The game has some criticism around it, however, as people are getting bored of the game and they want something new, because Trident has had three map changes, but the base of the game has become pretty stale with a lack of new things to do, and not as many updates as there once was. They also keep making maps bigger and bigger, and the monuments around the map keep having less and less loot, which makes the natural progression of the game less fun, but Trident, however, is a powerhouse in the PvP section. With a wide variety of weapons to choose from and a good combat system in my opinion, it makes fighting in the game actually enjoyable, which is obviously a hugely important aspect in a Roblox Rust game. Now I've easily spent almost 2000 or more hours in this game raiding, PvPing, and playing with friends, and I can honestly vouch for the game and say it's probably my second favorite Roblox Rust game that's ever been made. And at number one, with obviously a little bit of recency bias, is Fallen. Fallen is simply Rust in Roblox. I mean, they have 100% copied Rust entirely. They even have the chat where the chat is in Rust. It's insane. This game is by far the best current Roblox Rust game, and it has amazing graphics, great base building mechanics, and of course, 
pretty good PvP. If you ever wanted a Rust, but you don't want to buy it, then this is your game, but it does cost 200 Robux. I have a few criticisms of this game, if I'm being honest, as almost all of the things in this game are nicely polished. But, I mean, they literally have all the comps that Rust has, and the same armor UI, and they even have the same Rust textures. I don't know how many times I need to say this, but this is Rust in Roblox. I mean, this, it's actually like insane that they don't get taken down because of the similarities, but I'm not complaining. Aside from the differences, the rating in this game is pretty good. It's kind of a pain, to be honest, but it's made up for by the great graphics and pretty enjoyable PvP system that allows for some pretty decent fights. So if you have 200 Robux spare and you want to spend it to play Roblox Rust, then get this game, because it is by far the closest thing to Rust Roblox will ever see. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate if you would like and subscribe, and if there's other games that I might have missed, then put them in the comment section below and I can maybe make a part 2, but I just don't think there are really that many games, so it was kind of hard to choose a top 5. But I hope you appreciated the video, and I will see you guys next time.